Most of my work focus on the human wildlife interface and then also large mammal research and monitoring. Back in the days, tracking was the way to go. The data showed that elephants change their direction and speed of movement when you track them. With the non-invasive techniques now that's available in the market, it just really isn't necessary. That's why we don't track anymore. We do our research via camera trapping. The Landmark Foundation had some cameras out here to do leopard research. They then captured this elephant about seven times. We have so much better data now with the camera traps than we ever got from the tracking. The tracking now really only involves Coral, Wilfred, Douglas and Johannes and them helping us to know where to put up cameras and also to record fresh dung and so on. So we can, through our analysis, figure out how is it that she moves seasonally and so on and so forth. From there we got 80 cameras and we did the big robust survey. By about 2015, I, I realised that this is it. This, this is really not looking good. It was pretty evident that this is not like a herd or five or even six elephants. But I really was still hopeful that there would be at least two or three. There's only one elephant left in the Nazna forest. And the fact that she's by herself, she has to be more vigilant because females move in herds. You wonder, is she okay? And when it's thundering, is she okay? We've seen her run past our cameras looking very stressed with the thunder in the background. So you do, I mean, you can't help but have an attachment. If she wanted to be seen, she would have been seen. But the fact that she is like this is why she's still alive. She knows what time to come out from one safe area and go into an area she knows people leave. She likes to stay fairly close to the forest because that's her protection. If you want to look into the future conservation-wise, you need to understand why you are where you are. You need to understand the mechanisms of decline, basically. There are welfare concerns with doing nothing. There are welfare concerns with bringing in an orphan calf, because it's a calf that you are now moving around. There are risks or welfare issues related to bringing in a herd. You need to sit with all those specialists and taper out all those risks and benefits. She's the last free-roaming elephant in South Africa. And the fact that she's alone just makes that very sad. It's about humans, and our humans have really almost encroached into wildlife areas and shrunk elephant ranges. One of the broader things that I feel very, very strong about is that elephants need space. And if we are not going to give them space, then other areas are going to end up with what we have here.